Yeah. Casually walking. Okay. Casually walking into the door. Oh. Same thing. Oh, they're gentle. This way. No, not like. Where are they? To movie phones unscripted. I'm Nick Jonas and I'm here with my brothers Kevin and Joe on a sound stage at Walt Disney Studios with a live studio audience to talk about our movie, The Jonas Brothers, a 3D concert experience. We're going to ask each other some of your questions along with some of our own. I'll start with the first question. From the 3D movie, we get a sneak peek into your daily lives. What do you hope the fans will understand about you when they leave the theaters? Question mark, Nick. <laughs> <coughs> You know, I, I really hope that the fans take away um, just a real family aspect of this whole thing. And, uh, you know, they get a lot of behind-the-scenes uh, footage, and uh, along, with, along with the live stuff. And uh, for, for all of us, I think we wanted to, to really make this interactive with the fans and make them feel like they were right there on stage with us. And, uh, you know, add a little bit of our humor in there as well. In, in the beginning chase uh, sequence, you guys like that part? The beginning chase sequence, you know, there's a lot of our humor in there, and uh, it's, incorpor it's important to incorporate that for us. Definitely. Hmm. <laughs> Just trying to be, you know, yeah, talk I mean, show man. Yeah, some of that. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> if you oh. could tour with any singer or band in history, who would it be? Ooh. If I could tour with any singer or band in history. That's a in history. In history? <laughs> Doesn't matter who it is. <laughs> I bet you Albert Einstein was pretty cool to tour with. I don't he think he played music, Kevin. Actually, oh, I right. think, you know, no, he did. He, who, he, he played the violin. I don't know. If he did, I, did, I don't know. Okay. Um, she does. No, guess not. <laughs> um, uh, I probably, I'd have to say, I think to perform with, you know, the Prince would be incredible. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think that would be one of the best things of all time. Ooh. Are you ready, Joe? Right, I'm about to get, hit you with a hard question. <sighs> How long has it been? <laughs> what did you say? How long since you've ridden your bike? <sighs> Joe, would you like to use another lifeline? <laughs> <laughs> the last time I rode my bike. Damn. You have your license now. There's no. I mean, you do drive your car a lot. The last time I rode my bike. Yeah, I got my license. And the last time I rode my bike was was in Texas with Nick, and it was like freezing cold outside. But like we, th we were like, let's go for a bike ride. <laughs> and, uh, it was like the worst. I think one of our worst ideas ever. It was a pretty bad idea, Joe. And our and our tires were flat too. Yeah. So we got like halfway down the block, and then we were like, maybe we should turn around. We're like, we're already halfway there. Do we really talk like that? Is that <laughs> yeah. You were a little hot. You're like. Oh. <laughs> wow. Hi, I'm Liza, and I flew out from Philly because I was Hello. wondering what songs you guys sing in the shower that you'd be too embarrassed to perform live, dance moves included. Oh, dance moves included. Um, I worked hard on that one. You know, and the mountain high, <laughs> and the mountain low. That's that's my that's my jam in the um, shower. A big one for us is what's the song that we sing all the time? Uh, I, that's not gonna help me. Uh -huh. <laughs> The guy, he, he sang, a, he was a surprise performance at Thanksgiving Day for me. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never, Never gonna, gonna say goodbye. Have you ever seen him, by the way? Rick Astley. He's the man. His voice does not match his body. It's awesome. Everyone has a moment in their life that they look back on and say, that's when it all changed. You three have accomplished so much in such a short amount of time. Thank you very much. What moment would you define as life-changing? Good question. I think the, the most life-changing moment, um, I think pl probably playing, um, we were in Texas State Fair, and there was like about, I think 50,000 people showed up for the concert, and it was just like the most amazing feeling in the world. And that's like when I think we really understood a big change of, wow, we, wanted, we really 
Like, I mean, I think we've always wanted to do it forever, but then there's a point when you want to be serious about something and you're like, this is exactly what we can do forever and we like love doing it and, and uh, we love seeing your faces every day when we go on stage. So it's, it's a good feeling to be able to, to uh, perform and know that you, you're doing what you love. Definitely. Nice one, Joe. <laughs> Didn't expect me to say such a good answer, did you? We never do. Can I, can I ask you guys a question? Yeah! What was your... Um, okay. This is going to be like... Yeah! Uh, uh, so, you see me right there? No, in between. <laughs> you see yes, right there. Perfect. You're pointing to yourself right there. You said yes. Yeah. What was your favorite moment, moment in this movie? Oh, my gosh. Um, I love the new song. The new song. Did everybody like Love Is On Its Way? Oh, very cool. Cool. I don't know. I don't even know if I was allowed to do that. I just wanted to ask you guys something. From the audience. Helen of Miami, Florida. What's at the top of your list of things you have not done yet that you would absolutely love to do? We've been able to do a lot of cool things this year, but we haven't been. There's been a lot of countries we haven't been able to visit, you know. And um, we would love to play like a stadium in America. You know, that would be kind of cool. And I think. Um, Won a Grammy. <laughs> Didn't quite happen this week, but it's all right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. So, Nick, who are you dating these days? No, I'm just kidding. Um, see, I knew you would get a rise out of you on that one. That was fun. Um, it's like, ah, yeah! Finally! I'm going to kill her! <laughs> Oh. You guys are like, where does she live? I'm not going to do anything, I promise. She's going to bring a javelin. <laughs> anyway, Nick to Joe. Hannah in Los Angeles, California. Does she have blonde We'd like to know, you've done a bunch of covers. Take on me, going to get you good and free fall, and to name a few. Which has been your favorite cover so far? I know the answer to this. But I'm not Joe. But so it's I not your, yeah, so like, <laughs> once you get out of my brain, dude. <laughs> My, f my favorite cover we've done, um, it was, I would say, I mean, there's been a couple, but I think Free Fallen was a lot of fun to do. Knew it. And, uh, <laughs> and I think also, um, we, a long time ago, we did a cover of A Pirate's Life for Me. Yes. And, <laughs> and uh, I think the funny, the funny part about it was, I mean, it was, a, it was a lot of fun to do, but I constantly, like, I mean, like, I do that with every song, but, a, like, a lot with this song, I forgot the words. <laughs> and, like, I get on stage every night and be like, the, 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 like, have you ever heard it? If you ever go to, like, Disneyland or Disney World, you hear the ride and, like, like da 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 a pirate's life for me. And you're always, like, mumbling through that whole part. Well, I had to actually know the words, and that didn't work very well. So I'm, so I'm always like, uh, so we're bad. Uh, pirate's life for me. Uh, patches and wooden and legs. Patches and wooden legs and, and parrots, parrots and, and pirate's life for me. <laughs> We steal stuff. Uh. <laughs> I just was, I just was making things up, and people were like, "All right, cool, yeah." Um, Rachel in Los Angeles asked Nick, uh, "What steps have you taken to try to live normal teenage lives while handling international superstardom?" Wow, thank you. Um, no, I think that you know we're normal guys at the end of the day. We're we're just three guys from New Jersey who who have been able to live our dream and thanks to you guys been able to have a wonderful time doing it and uh, we're so thankful to all the fans and all the people that made it possible for us to just be able to record, write and play our music. We love you. We love you. <laughs> but Nick, how do you really feel? <laughs> feel great, Kim. Good. Okay. Um, Joe. Yes, Nick. What's <laughs> been your fan highlight in our four and a half years that we've been doing this, wow. not you know a lot of times what's the craziest thing a fan's ever done, but you know it's not that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking fan highlight, something a fan did that really stood out to you, made you feel good. Um, I think the number one thing for me was um, about last year I fell on the American Music Awards, <laughs> and uh, and it was a little embarrassing, but you know you, you kind of have to laugh it off. But it was also our first big television like award show, so you're like oh it could have happened any time else. <laughs> And then somebody's like, no, it's no big deal, dude. There's like a thousand people out there. I'm like, yeah, and there's like 24 million people watching on television. <laughs> but um, afterwards, there was a lot of fans that came up to me, and I mean, countless amount of fans that you guys at meet and greets and things like that were very encouraging on our MySpace. And, and you guys weren't like, ha ha. You guys were like, you guys were genuine, and I, I thank you guys. You guys are the best. We love you. We love you. Well, Kevin, thank you. Joe, thank you.
Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Thanks to Movie Phone and to you for watching and sending in your questions. Please check out our new 3D movie, Jonas Brothers, The Concert Experience. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye.